When we realized that through the use of pre-implantation genetic diagnosis, we had the capability uh, to determine whether a uh, embryo would produce a girl or a boy, uh, of course, this brought up the discussions among our faculty as to, you know, who should do this, how should it be done, should it be done at all. We all know couples who just say, well, gee, you know, we've had two or three boys, we just want our girl, or we just have had three girls and we want our boy, just to get the other side. So really what we're talking about here is a question of gender diversity, to be able to experience children of both sexes. And this has to be uh, carefully differentiated, I think, from gender discrimination. This is not something that we felt should be used for a first child, or if the ratio of males and females in the family was the same. So this is why it is called family balancing. The technique that we use to perform family balancing uh, not only is able to determine the gender of the embryo, uh, but at this point we are using a 24 chromosome technology that can also identify embryos that would have chromosome abnormalities. So one not only could select the correct gender, but try and make sure that that is an embryo that has a high likelihood of becoming a child at the end. For me, the other advantage is that it allows us to recommend single embryo transfer. Because particularly in family balancing, couples tend to have one or more other children and may not be interested in having a high risk of having multiple gestations. Thank you.